carried away. Sorry. So, I want to do a bit of disclaimer here. And uh, this particular video, my thoughts on Neptunia, Cross, Ellen, Kagura, Ninja War, not having an English dub. I recorded this before the stream, before her announcement of leaving Idea Factory International. So, yes, if you're an Idea Factory fan and you follow the community, uh, two weeks ago in a stream, Zandra Goon announced that she will be leaving the company for a future endeavor. Whatever she takes her, best wishes. So, for that one, I want to say that I never have a problem with both Zandra Goon and Rob Dizzle. So, those are their their handler internet name. They're basically the PR people. They're the one that kind of explain what the game is. That's been their job. They also do other things. And, like, if you want to ask question or whatever, they're the ones going to answer your question if they could. So, of course, in this particular video, I had to call them out on it. So, no hate, but spade of spades. So, like I said, I'm an Idea Factory fan. I bought their game multiple times to support them on multiple platform. Some of them I double dipped, again, to support them. But at the same time, I got to call them out on something they don't agree, such as... Seren Kagura, Neptunian Ninja War, not having English dub. And I called them out on for not being transparent about it until it was already too late. Even before it was an announcement of the date, a lot of people asked, any chance of this going to have English dub? And in the past, I keep saying they balked it, they balked it, until finally, when the game came out, credit to Sandragoon, thank you. And again, best wishes for your future endeavor. They finally announced what it is, and there will be a part two of that one about that video. So, again, the disclaimer here this video is, I recorded this before the game came out, and before Zandragoon actually announced her leaving the company. Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and I want to give my thoughts on a bit of a disappointment if you're an English dub supporter in Japanese game and of course for myself if you've been following my secondary channel or my vlog talks you know that I always kind of criticize I guess to some extent wine that I always wish that Japanese game should have English dub and for this one is well it's not so much that this game doesn't have an English dub. And I knew it too that it wasn't going to have an English dub to some extent. That I'm a little bit disappointed of the lack of info and transparency on this particular game. And yes, I am talking about Neptunia Cross Selling Kagura Ninja War. So of course, by the time of this recording, the game is already out. And people have the physical copy. And yes, in the backside, it actually said text in English voice only Japanese and if you go to the website it actually did say Japanese and that's been I think been up since September my gripe about this one is the bit of a disappointment to Idea Factor International and I guess to some extent because they are the PR team Rob Dizzle and Xander Groom because normally in the past when push comes to shove when someone even asks Whatever Idea Factory game that comes out, they're always going to ask, Hey, any chance of this game going to have English dub? And usually they'll say yes or no even before the game comes out. And sometimes, to some extent, they kind of explain what the reason is. Sometimes, kind of vague, but sometimes they're very, very, like, in detail, very transparency. That's why a lot of people, to some extent, kind of give them props and, to some extent, respect is... They're always transparent to any situation, especially when it comes to the censorship. They do warn people, hey, look, on the PS4 version, there will be censorship, just letting you know, so it's up to you. But in other system, and other platform, it's not, again. So they're always, to some extent, our transparency, and that they always say, hey, you know what? We wanna be honest to our fans, because again, without fans, there wouldn't be any company, wouldn't make money to some extent. However, for this one, for particular, for San Kagura Ninja War, the transparency wasn't there, and I'll explain that later. 
Yeah, so, I mean, it is kind of, like, disappointing because, like, a good example, very, very good example, and they even talk about it on stream, is Neptunian Virtual Star, which, and they did talk about it that in the beginning, they were going to have plan to have English dub, and then they did on Twitter, and sort of a, hey, you know, guess what, bad news. We kind of tried did it when we noticed that the cost of the license for the virtual VTuber was going high, we couldn't do it. And people even asked, hey, you know, why not just have a paid DLC, partial dub, whatever option, you know, will support you. According to them, as even so that support is there, they just felt like, hey, look, it's probably not gonna work. And again, to some extent, I have to put it here, the Chris Pranger conspiracy, which is just because you say it, it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna do it. So whatever. And there have been games that had lack of English dub uh, for Murray Chronicle Monster and Mono Piece, which is on the Vita, and then of course Murray Chronicles on the Switch and Steam. Those games did not have English dub, and from what I understand, really, is that the first game Monster Mono Piece, because that was their first game, it wasn't really that big yet, and that was their first, believe it or not, Idea Factory International published game. Because before that, it was Nice America. And they said was, well, we're going to start, you know, don't get too ambitious, so we're not going to dub this one. It's not really that popular, whatever. And in the case with Monster Monterey Chronicles, is that the game was on the Vita, but never came on outside of Japan because the Vita was already dying. But the time they put it on Steam, they just felt like, hey, look, we're not going to sell it in full price. It's not a $60 game. Because it's a Vita game. I think it was they sold it for like really a reasonable price. So they said, well, in order to maximize our sale, we're not going to put English dub. So that's what it is. And then when they ported it to the Switch, they didn't bother with it. And I think the reason behind it was not only because on the Switch, it was really an old game. And again, to some the confident level of it for this game, they probably was low. They said, hey, you know, whatever. And yeah, I mean, they do case by case. I mean, even some company, they do the same thing. There's America, Exit, Marvelous, and even other games to some extent. And heck, even like Axie game, East Asia stuff and whatever, they don't even dub the games no matter what. I mean, in the case with Blaze Blue, if you're wondering, that was Arc System Work, so that's a different story there. So, the bottom line is, is that, yeah, the arcs sort of transparent when it comes to a, whether the game have English dub or not. For example, Ark of the Alchemist was planned up at one point, but because in Japan of the poor sale, they just said, we're not going to dub it because it's not going to sell well. Would it sell well also in the West? And spoiler, no, it didn't because, believe it or not, I got the game digitally under $10. So you're going to see what happened there. Because the game, it's okay for what it is, but yeah, it's not fun. Sorry, man, it's not fun. That's why the game was digital at first, but then there were some people who were like, no, I can't accept that. So they said, fine, we'll team up with Limited Run. There you go. And another one is Azure Lane Cross Wave. This was a little tricky. They did say it's not going to have English dub. Some people asked what's going on and why. Any transparency there. And I think some people said that in the internet, that's either one or two things happened. One, because of Funimation, which I'll explain that later. Or second is, it was just a Dynasty Warrior effect, which is too many characters, then you're going to have to hire a lot of voices. It might build up, and if the game doesn't sell well, well, they might go to a negative, you know, like Yakuza for the PS2. So some of those examples I gave are they were transparent to say, hey, what's going on? But not so much in case with Neptunia cross Seren Kagura Ninja War. When it first came out, they announced it was going to be in the end of October. Yeah, the website said Japanese. And a lot of people even asked them on social media, whether Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, said, any chance of this going to be English dub? Because you kind of said no on the website. And they've been asking, including myself, they were asking, hey, any chance? Why is it not? Can you please give us some transparency. And I noticed that there was no whatsoever response. Like, they did not respond to anything about it. They're, like, balking it. Heck, even in stream. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to call out Rob Dizzle and Xander Goon. I'm disappointed to you guys. They've always been transparent. But when it comes to this one, 
a lot of people even trying to ask it on stream. I don't know, either they're missing it, the messages, the question, or they're purposely doing it, or they're purposely bulking it. I don't know. Maybe there's something behind the scene there. And again, kind of disappointed. And I guess, you know, there must be more than meets the eye. And here's my theory of what's going on, why they did not. One is probably have something to do with Funimation again. And this has always been something to rumor a lot of people talk about. Like, what's this rumor? What does Funimation got to do with a lot of this thing? Okay, so in the case with Saren Kagura, the anime side is owned the license by Funimation. However, the English dub rights, unfortunately, is on Funimation. So you say, so what for? That's the anime. Can they just have someone else? You know, why does it have to be Funimation to do this? Well, it's not so much of accuracy, but to some extent it is legal issue. So, yeah, there's been a lot of rumor about this. A lot of people talk about it. And, of course, if you follow the San Kagura storyline, there's a person, a former ex seed employee by the name of Tom. He, I think he was a community manager, and he kind of explained sort of the ins and outs. Like, yeah, they do understand that Dub helps sell the game to some extent, but if you did not know, and unfortunately the forum about this when he talked about it was erased, um, deleted. I, heck, I even linked it to my previous videos about it, but then when I went back and clicked on the link, yeah, it's just a 404 error, so can't do anything about that. I know I shouldn't have screen capture. I hope someone did, but if it's not, it is what it is. So the gist of it is, and this is why I keep saying about Selling Kagura Funimation, is did you know that the very first Selling Kagura on the PS4 that came out Estival versus I have the game, I just forgot the subtitle. According to Tom, is that they had plans, they were thinking about they had plans to have English dub. So he said, Oh, that's awesome. They'll have English dub. And then somewhere down the line he said, unfortunately, we could not add an English dub due to legal issue and that we could not disclose in public of why. Okay, uh, why not? But then some people even ask, that's kind of like ridiculous. And then Tom keeps just responding, sorry, we can't talk about it, but unfortunately the game will not have English dub. And a lot of people were guessing could have something to do with Funimation. Again, what has to do with Funimation? Why can't you just have someone else do it? Because, don't know if it's true or not, but I think somewhere down the line, there's some new rule with the voice acting rule. And that is, Whoever had the rights for the English dub for whatever franchise, so like say Saren Kagura by Funimation, then you are required to use the Funimation voice actors to do whatever medium it is, whether it's a video game. But it's what a minute, this is a video game, not an anime. That's not right. Yeah, but the anime unfortunately came, well, the game came first, but it wasn't dub. But when Funimation got the anime, they were the one that dubbed the franchise first, then the video game, X Seed, Marvelous, whatever. So kind of like a bullshit situation. But yeah, so the bottom line is if they want to dub a Saturn Kagura game, then they got to use Funimation. And that's what people were theorizing. That's what people are guessing. There were some insiders saying that it could probably going down one to that direction. And you might say, okay, fine, the rule. So, okay, why not just dub it with Funimation? What's wrong with that? Funimation wants more money. That's the problem. There have been a lot of rumors that when you talk to Funimation, when they do negotiation, apparently they want more money. They'll, they need more money than they can probably have in their budget, and that's always been the problem. That's why Namco Bandit with their licensed anime game, such as One Piece, My Hero, Justice One, uh, their other anime that's based on Funimation, they would not dub it because it just costs more money. Again, it's a union versus non-union thing, it's a weird thing. So if it's Bam Zoom, chances are they are gonna probably dub the anime if it's worth dubbing. That's a different story then. So in the case with, like I said, Neptunia across San Kagura, chances are what people, some people theorize that, yes, it might have something to do with Funimation wanting more money and probably more that can probably they can have from their budget for the game so they rather like hey you know we're not gonna do this 
And again, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Like, why not Marvelous have the rights for the English dub? Why is it for animation? Well, uh, by the time it's probably the Saturn Cargo game, they thought it wouldn't really sell well in the West because of the bouncy booby. Because, you know, the creator of this franchise, well, he likes bouncy boobies. That's why. That's why the characters are always have big boobas. So, but yeah, but unfortunately, like I said, the uh, dubbing rights for animation, they probably won't want more money. And I mean, that's why, to some extent, with, like I said, Azure and Crosswave, it's probably also Funimation. So when you have something like Funimation, Netflix, whatever, like that, they, they have their own recording studio, their own union, to some extent, I could be wrong about that part, is they always want more money than they could, you know, need. But again, it is what it is. So there's a lot of people theorize that that's what it is. So uh, could it be true? Maybe. Could not be true? Yeah. But can it be rectified? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, maybe in, in the long run, maybe in 2022, that Idea Factor International could consider one or two things. One, I'm being generous here, nice, is a paid English dub DLC. Kind of like I always tell Tech McCoy about this. And by the way, with Tech McCoy, they're just jerk off. They just don't dub games unless it's a Tech Mode game. Uh, that's been their new MO. Uh, they believe that because, oh, we can release game early. Bullshit. Why not just do a dub in the long run? Because you don't. Because you want to cut cut. Because you're, you know, you're bastards. But different story there. And like I said, sometimes in the game, it's a case by case basis. If they think it's not going to sell well, then they're just not going to dub it. Uh, from what I understand. So back to Neptunia, Cross, and Kagura Ninja War. That I'm not disappointed that this game doesn't have. An English dub. Yeah, what I'm disappointed is the lack of transparency, bulking the question time and time again. I'm kind of disappointed with Xandragoon, Rob is all about it. Maybe they were told by their superior not to talk about it, maybe because it has something to do with Funimation and Marvelous. So, because remember, this is a collaboration game, so they couldn't really say anything about it. They probably have to need approval from the other company, so that's why they're just keeping their mouth shut. A lot of times, that is a possibility, but I am very disappointed. So, Idea Factor International, Rob Dizzle, Zantagoon, you know I'm a big supporter. I do videos about it. I always visit your stream every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. But yeah, in this particular one, I'm very disappointed very disappointed about it and like i said maybe they will rectify it they'll do something like i said paid dub dlc maybe there will be that maybe there's some negotiation but i don't think idea factory have a good negotiation team and like sakurai with nintendo or project sora but who knows you know an update just like my hero justice 2 which is surprisingly yeah i did talk about that or a paid the DLC. So, is it possible? Yeah. I mean, if it happened with My Hero Justice too, because at launch, it didn't have English dub, but then with an update, which I'm surprised, rather than a paid dub DLC, because the reason I keep saying that is it is, in the end of the day, it's about money. Tecmo Koei admitted that, that that's the reason why. Uh, if you're saying about Blaze, Blue, Central Fiction, and Guilty Gear X Third Revelation. That wasn't the money problem. It was more of a timing for them because the competitive were bitching about the lack of worldwide release. I mean, look what happened with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Awesome. English dub. So, I mean, yeah. So, going back to Neptunia across Seren Kagura, kind of disappointed. But like I said, they probably could do it in 2022, a V update or a paid dub DLC. Because I'm being nice there. Yeah, so overall thoughts about it is... I heard the game is, you know, it is what it is from Tamso. Unless you're an uber Neptunia fan, or San Kagura in this case. Uh, the general consumer probably not going to like this game. And I heard it's a bit short. I mean, if you play it extensively, yeah, it's not that long. Censorship, well, it is what it is because it's probably were designed prior to the 
you know, Sony's um, approval, but, you know, it is what it is. But from what I heard, there is some sort of fan service a bit, but not so much like, you know, uh, Super Nintendo RPG, so they had to tone that back because, yes, there were some games, and believe it or not, even before this Sony policy rule, they were not doing it to all their games, only for some of it. Again, it is what it is. Like I said, if you notice on my ending scene, it's a clip from either Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 or Super Neptunia RPG because those are like the pinnacle point of their fan service, which is, yeah, awesome. But in the case with this one, it's like they had to tone it down a bit. Sony's being an asshole, but you know, that's a different story there. In the end, disappointing. Uh, hopefully they won't do this again to the next Neptunia game. I know the next one actually is a weird one. A Steam exclusive called Top Nep. And I think it's based on a meme, but at the same time the game itself looks like a Space Harrier. So again, that's a different story there. Doesn't look like a big budget game. But for this one, yes, I am kind of a bit disappointed with what happened. Again, it's not so much with the lack of dubbing. I knew still... I wasn't really happy about that, but my very disappointed is the lack of transparency, bulking the question time and time again. And some people even say, well, you didn't listen to me. You know this was going to happen because it's already in the website. Yeah, no, people knew that they had a feeling that this game's not going to be dubbed because of the website and, of course, the history with San Cargo, which I said it might have something to do with Funimation, but the fans only wanted, hey, can you please confirm and just say, no, it... It's not because of whatever they can even answer that. If not, they can just say, unfortunately, we can't have English dub because of circumstances, you know, whatever. It's just something rather than just bulking it because that's the key word there. They were bulking the question time and time again. People were discussing it on the stream and nothing. And, you know, we'll see what happened. Hopefully there is and you can, again, let them know, but the end of the day, Idea Factory, Japan, Compo Hard, kind of have to make a hard decision to whether do it or not to add either an update or a paid DLC. Like I said, it's a possibility because My Hero Justice 2 kind of did it, which I'm surprised. And for people wondering what happened with My Hero Justice, why that one did not have an English dub. So I have to give credit for people, like I said, I'll link the video about my hero just to having a dub because they did talk about it. Uh, a YouTuber basically said, he heard this in the news, that Colin Kentokin, if I pronounce the name right, if not, apologies, said there was a story that Namco Bandai actually had some negotiation talk with Funimation to add my hero justice and English dub. He actually did say that there were some negotiation. They were talking about it back and forth. Apparently, there were some not so satisfactory agreement to a point that, yeah, the deal just fell through. And that's why the first game did not have an English dub. And from what I understand, the second time around, they tried it, but first failed. But I think from what I understand is they tried it again a second time with different people and proposed it, probably a better proposal than before. And they just said, fine. So it kind of sounds familiar. Sakurai versus Disney. Believe it or not, he did it a couple of times from what I understand. Uh, in the beginning, yeah, there was no dice no matter what. But and then Luck basically was on Sakurai's side, talked to a Disney representative in the award, told the situation, and, so, and some person said, I'll make a note and then make it happen. So it is a possibility. Just have to wait and see. So my thoughts, disappointed that they weren't transparent. A bit of disappointed that this one did not have an English dub, but I had a feeling that had something to do with selling Kagura, maybe with Funimation. So again, we'll just have to wait and see. So that's my thoughts on Saren Kagura did not have English dub. Very disappointing, but it is what it is. So with that, I'll see you guys later.